Yes, Dan. Well, emergency workers shared stories today about how they were consistently seeing young victims of violent crime over and over again in their hospitals. Organizers of the campaign feel strongly that healthcare workers can do more than treat just physical wounds. The kids at the John Eagle Howard Rec Center in Northwest Baltimore have a safe place to run, laugh, and yell, and to make art projects. As Health Commissioner Dr. Lena Wen explains, that is so much better than the alternative. Homicide is the leading cause of death among our residents 15 to 24 years old. Those statistics are part of what led to a new youth violence prevention campaign called Words Not Weapons. The idea is that doctors, nurses, and other health care workers are often the first to see young victims of violent crime. They have a unique opportunity to intervene, to identify risk factors, and to connect young people with services and essential resources. We always have time to do a physical exam. And what could be more important than seeing what led to why this person was injured and how can I prevent that from happening next time? Why are you in here? What's going on in your life? You know, what's going on in your community? What's going on in your school? What can we do here at the hospital to actually help you so that you don't come back into the emergency department? The goal for the campaign is to get commitments from hospitals and individual doctors to participate in the program. Healthcare workers will lead young people and families to people like Damian Cooper, whose project NUMA connects young people with positive role models, teaches them yoga and conflict resolution. We'll be the adult that the young person can reach out to and ask for help when they need it. We'll offer words of the support and encouragement, of hope and of love and of peace, and to help them to decide not to, not to fight. Words, not weapons. So the campaign teaches young kids the acronym for WORD, W-O-R-D. It stands for walk away, organize your thoughts, reach out for help, and decide not to fight. We're live downtown tonight. Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.